got Rico and Shaggy. They've come through the tunnels, dropping down out of the tunnels now, making their assault here into the garage to get the plant down. Oh, got to get the flag here on supply early. Rico's in hard. Oh, beautiful. A double headshot there. Rico pushes through, but he's taken out by Perfo from the uh, super-powered Holland team. And uh, they got the Orange Madness going. Oh, it's Man 34 almost got the plant down, Flash. Just got nailed right when he was uh, bent over at ass up in the air. Absolutely, he was very close to arming that one and uh, three or four of the Netherlands players jumped in and took him out without too much of a, a, a whisker there. So beautiful stuff by the Netherlands, Slash killing it up on to Fly Depot. It's, it's a common strat, as everyone knows. They've got three players downstairs, they being Chris, New and Efax, who all just Slash killed now to uh, make room for the next push. As the Allied attack cut down continuously as they push in, uh, great start here from the Netherlands. They haven't looked really like they were uh, going to miss it, even though Iceman was close to getting that plant. It was all in control for the Netherlands, DJ. All right, 13.44 on the clock. 13.43, 42. 40. If you want to sync your shoutcast up to ETTV, simply pause the shoutcast. When you hear a time call or a significant event, unpause your shoutcast when the vision matches what you just heard. And you should be in sync from thereafter. Holland on the uh, defense here. Here's the Axis on Supply Depot doing a great job at the start of the map. They've held for almost two straight minutes now. The Aussies, they're bounding their way in kangaroo style. Here into the Supply Depot to try and get a plant down, but it's very hard to break this garage defense. Flash, they got good crossfire set up down here. 40 getting a couple of kills. Shaggy's pushed in with the medic. He's oh, he's up the stairs. Shaggy's going for the flag here. Oh, they've slashed out on him. He's about to get a very bad surprise here as they come poning out of the uh, flag area. There they go, and they just snap poor old Shaggy on the middle level. No name coming across high on the west now. He could revive a teammate there, but he's actually going to go over him. What a bastard. What a bastard. I think he didn't he revive his reviving, teammate. Being that he was an engineer. Oh, was he? Oh, they'll let him off then. Yeah, I think, I think so. Players tend not to be such a He's still a bastard, though. Absolutely, as uh, Rico pushes out on his own and is sh shut down by four Netherlands players. Some great teamwork here shown by the Netherlands players. And uh, my understanding is that the rules say you can't have played in a team with these people since April 2007. Uh, no more than three people. So these people have come from all different clans and uh, had to mold together into a team. Bunch of new. Always the challenge. Uh, but they seem to be doing it pretty well at the moment, EJ. They do indeed. I'm just following... Um Who's this? It uh, looks like Haste. He's trying to come across high here to get across the middle level. Hiding behind the boulder at the moment, packing himself up. 12.07 on the clock. This is strong, as we said. Holland uh, opening defense, doing a great job. Haste is on the outer window of the upper middle area. Here he goes now in through the door. He's going to try and ninja the flag. He's in a pistol fight. Cut down. Motor's too strong for Haste. MP40 does the trick. Haste is no more. He's respawned. One though coming out now with a couple of teammates behind 11.47 on the clock here. We're in the first round on supply depot in the Nations Cup Australia versus Holland. You're listening to EJ and Flash on GameStar Radio. And Flash, what are you looking at at the moment? Well, I just watched Shaggy get knifed, which is a very rare occurrence for the, one of the great players down. in enemy territory. But Iceman34 gets the plant down. Perfo is an engineer down the... Seconds left on that dino now. He's just waiting and waiting. Beautiful they stuff. They need some cover. Not panicking at all. And he's going he's for the gun now. And this is going to be an easy defuse for the Netherlands. Oh, stuff. Yeah, no panic. Nothing like that. That's just pure class from the Netherlands boys. And although Shaggy took one for his teammate Iceman and, uh, and was unable to be a successful plant, EJ. Shaggy loves taking one from his teammates, dude. That's how he got his spot in the starting roster. Here we go, though. Iceman34 taking his uh, offensive noob stick down into nowhere land as Chris takes him out with his MP40. Nice work there by the uh, whole player, Chris. Hasn't been in the uh, hash shop today by the uh, accuracy of his aim. Uh, maybe he has, and he just plays better like that. As uh, oh. We should point out that all, uh, all of the Double players, noob nade uh, there to the Perfo. Nice one. All of the players are, are actually uh, on a 200 ping, approximately. Uh, Netherlands got an average of 203, Australia's got an average of 240. So most of these players are not used to playing on this quite higher ping. So it might just need a little bit of adjusting for both teams to settle into this rhythm. Oh, I don't know, dude. It doesn't seem to be slowing these uh, orange wearing Holland boys down. They're doing fantastic at the moment. Absolutely. Although here go, the uh, garage has fallen. Iceman's been revived, so is 40. We've got a chance of a uh, plant down here at the moment. 
Dino's down. It's armed. Iceman 34 and 40 got a plant down at the bottom. Here come the dirty rotten Nazis now pushing their way out. It's Ephus and it's Modus. Can they get down there? Ephus is cut down. He's a uh, big push on the uh, garage here. Flash, have we got any chance of a uh, defense to defuse? Yes, he has taken down the Perfo, comes in though, and a huge Panzer from Iceman34 takes out the sole remaining engineer for the Netherlands. They slash kill out. Great stuff there. Haste and Iceman34 doing what had to be done. Oh, it's huge stuff. That plant is just going off now as Australia pushed through, but a great hold from the Netherlands. That's already over five minutes, five and a half minutes uh, at that first phase. So I pity the poor Australian troops now as they have to push through into the second phase. EJ. I'll take it away. Uh, the Netherlands just setting up around the CP and uh, we had Perfo there pushing up as a noob stick. There's Artie down, it's a pretty standard sort of defence by the Netherlands boys, they're just doing it mighty well against uh, what we consider to be one of the better Australian teams going around. There's a hell oh, it's a good makeup. It is definitely Absolutely. a good Okay, only a few seconds now on this top dyno. That's going to blow and give them an opportunity to get through here. Forty's covert upped it. He's out there to get some pants off some of these Dutch boys. You'd expect nothing less from Forty than want to steal some pants off other men. Absolutely, Forty loves the pants of other men. Well, here he goes he now. He's got his. Anyway. Uh, oh, he'll do anything to another man. As long as you pay him five dollars, he's all yours. Here he goes though. He's got his uh, sniper rifle in hand. He's pushing across. Unscape. Beautiful kill there. 540 is going to get in here and blow the CP. Boom! There goes the CP. Overboot or overboost, is it? What's it, poor bastard's name? Overboot will do him. He's coming He's coming through and stopping the uh, offense. Building the CP now is Australia. 8 minutes and 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds on the clock. Flash, take it away. Yes, and the Aussies now have built that CP thanks to Iceman 34, 40 and haste. Taking, a, taking out three or four uh, Netherlands players on their way to that CP and they're now setting up around the wall of Supply Depot. The truck is halfway down the hill, there's no NGs in sight, there's a couple of landmines around there. No name goes and uh, I'm sure he meant to do that. He triggers one just as I said it. Forty going for a plant now on the east uh, and looks like he's going to be pretty clear. No, nope, we've got a couple of nades coming over but it uh, uh, looks like he's going to try and get a plant there in a second. He's there with Shaggy. EJ, what are you watching? I was watching 40 then he took a uh, absolute face full of hot lead from some dude up in the tower on the wall there. It's stunning that he was still alive at the end of that. The uh, dino's down at the main gate too. Iceman 34. Oh, taken out though. Rifle grenade stops him in the mid plant. Beautiful work there by Perfo. He comes through and picks up two K43 kills as well. He and looks like someone who's going to be worthy of, uh, worthy of spectating. He's just defused this side as well. And a landmine kill. Perfo on, on fire. At the moment. Iceman 34 takes him out now with his Thompson and he has to plant down at the main. Other, the main as well. He's got a double plant on the main by the looks of things, unless that's a misplant. There's plenty of plants going down, boys, and uh, looks oh, like. Oh, it's Plant Arama 2007 here at the moment. Absolutely. As the Australian boys have to wait now for that dino to blow, there's 12 or 9 seconds left on the main gate and 14. Now, no name's about to get back to. Oh dear, he hasn't watched his uh, flank. No, nope, he's uh, managed to be okay there. Oh, here he goes. Look, he knew someone was coming. So Slash Kill spawns back, covers the top of the tunnel. He goes, oh, just have a peek down the tunnel. West Depot wall gets planted at 6.21 on the clock. So that's going to give the Aussies another chance to push in here. they got to get this truck into position. Perfo's not the happy. What the? He's screaming out in MM1. And uh, NXM will be uh, slapping him down soon. We should invite MXN onto our vent. Get some uh, international cast and action flash. Absolutely. See if we can get some contact details for him to jump on. He is, of course, is the uh, the admin and uh, workaholic behind this in the Nations Cup, I believe. He is indeed. Absolute crackerjack effort. We'd love to have a chat with him. Now we got someone up here. No names upstairs at the controls. Here he's only a medic though, so he's not going to be able to build them. But he has indeed got an opportunity to secure them. Flash, great work for the Aussies here. He's out on the ramps at the moment. Oh, he came in near the truck. That was overboost. He got overboosted. Nothing. He got overshot in the head. Here comes the truck into position now. No name doing a great job there. Truck into position. He's pushing around the front. He's got teammates with him now. Shaggy and Hayes. Bit of a revivathon going on here at the moment. Might as well give Modus as you go past there. Give Chris as well. He doesn't bother giving any of them. Here we go. Pushing upstairs inside now. Efax is in here. Efax too strong for no name. Take it away, Flash. Absolutely, great stuff there by Efax. Rico comes down. New is up the top waiting for this push. 
Rico gets taken down without uh, doing too much damage himself, which is a pretty rare occurrence. Perfo sitting up there with a rifle nade, shoots it into no one. Great stuff there. And it looks like the Axis team have spawned and have taken out that push. But there's still a couple guys, there's still two. There's No Name and Shaggy, both medics, pushing up now. And they're going to meet up with Efax and Perfo, who are up the top, along with New and Overboost, who's finally managed to type his name out. And now I'm watching like uh, They've got it pretty well set up, EJ. I'm watching 40, here he goes, big SK, slams the Panzer up into the top window. Only kills one though, that was a shitty shot by uh, 40. But he did kill one, which is better than killing none. He might be going to take Efax out, bad grenade there, the lag got him I think with the ping. He threw the grenade to the complete wrong corner of the stairs then. Iceman34 at the back here, deciding whether he's going to try and plant a dino. Can't be bothered, puts a uh, landmine down at the exit though, or the entrance to the base. Nice work by Iceman34, caused a bit of havoc for some of these boys from Holland as they try and get back into their base after a spawn. And there's uh, Motor sitting up that top there, just spamming down with his uh, MP40 into that open uh, main gate as the allies just run through, uh, don't even bother shooting back at him. And he's sitting up there, there's still three or four Netherlands players up there. There are no Kobe's for the Australian team in order to push out the back. Perfo gets a double Oh, nice one shot, Perfo. Teammate. As the Aussies push up now, a couple slash kills, and New drops a grenade onto Rico's face, and Rico opens his mouth and accepts it with lovingness. There. Oh, there go the landmine kills to Iceman34. Beautiful work there. What an SK. What a actual spawn raper. Go for it, Iceman34. That's his specialty, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't get good coming out of spawn. Iceman will be waiting for you. Oh, 40 with the Panzer shot, but the nice med work there. Perfo is back up. Super engineer. Haste pushing through on him now. Taken out by the noob nade. No, uh, no name comes in. No name takes him down. No name gives him. And we've got a spawn of the Germans here. This is a big spawn. Great opportunity. Two two Have we got an engineer upstairs? We got a Panzer covering the uh, dyno, uh, covering the controls though. As soon as he hears a creak, and he's going to let this rip. This is huge. He's We've got a build coming up now. Overboot. Hopefully, there's. Oh, here, here comes goes. Over is out side. of position. There's a build going on. There is a build. Iceman 34 is. Uh, oh! He's got it now, and he's pressed the button as well. So Australia. Has Over to boost with the Panzer shots and no. <sighs> he had it lined up, then flashed, and he hit the top of the fence. What a dickhead. Oh, that one hurts. That hurts a lot. As 40 lies in the back of the truck, Overboost is out there trying to do something and doing... He's got to redeem it. himself. Got to redeem He's himself. not doing very well at it. He finally takes down 40 after the truck gets to just outside the Axis spawn there. As the Allies have 2 minutes 12 to push in and take this truck away. Great stuff by Netherlands. This is a huge hold. Come on, Aussies. First map. Come the Aussies. Here come the Aussies. Yeah, go on, Aussies. Here we go, we're going to push in now, get in to get this truck and uh, move it out of here. No Name's just got to pick up, no it's actually Shaggy, he didn't get the pick up. Looks like Shaggy's going to cover a uh, side full of lead here from Aoife. It's one on one with Aoife, Aoife runs into the tunnel, Shaggy should go for the truck. Ding, 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 oh, bad luck. Ice man, no Shaggy taken out there by Efax's Luger. Here we go, push onto the front of the truck here by the Aussies. they got one on the truck, two on the truck. No Name picking up a double, No Name picking up a triple with the Thompson, beautiful work by No Name there, clearing the front of the truck out, he gets cut down though by Chris off the respawn, Holland securing the truck again, 1 minute 27, we could set a time here for Australia if they can get this truck going Flash. Well they need to put a V8 engine in it and make it like a Monaro mate, because it uh, needs to get a move on. The Netherlands doing great work of clearing out the front of that truck, Perfo pushing right up to the Allied spawn, he's going to drop a nade on them by the looks of things, I, this is going to end in fair shape, I can tell. He takes out two, Shaggy and No Name just not ready for that, as the truck waits desperately to be moved, but uh, this is great stuff, Chris takes out Iceman with a triple. Forty's uh, in the truck again. Forty finally got in the truck, he loves that truck EJ. Yeah, he's the biggest petrol head wannabe you're ever going to meet in the bloody Southern Hemisphere, 40. So when you're talking about trying to get a Monaro engine into this truck, 40 would be one of the ones wanting to be there doing it. He's got no clue, but he'll give it a go. Oh, he's down on the truck, though. Someone else has got to get in here, push this truck in. Seconds, uh, every second right count. And uh, they're just waiting to spawn, I believe. Everyone's dead. Here comes Ace to finish it off. Seconds, doing what uh, all those super round players do best, which is the objective. And face, haste finishes off the thing. EJ, you want to run us through some award? Yeah, why not? Why not? And we got Perfo getting fragger Rico.
Who experienced ranking and high decorated Efax Battle Sense Perfo, a GEM engineer, overboost medic, nice work, ship pans of it, nice medic, Modus Field Ops, Efax Light Weapons, Perfo Accuracy, and some other dude got some other award. That's always the way to go. And uh, great hold there by the, uh, the Netherlands team. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Nearly a full hold, at about 30 or 40 seconds left on the clock, so. It's going to certainly be tough for the Australian allies to hold this up, sorry, Australian Axis, I should say, to hold off the Netherlands, who certainly seem to have the edge on them in terms of uh, Medic. Uh, getting the kills when it matters most, because uh, most of the times the allies killed them was uh, in the last five seconds of their spawn. And as for okay. all pro matches, prepare to fight is underway. Ten seconds left on the clock. EJ, take this away. Yeah, these Dutch boys get a free trip down Red Light District if they can pull this one off here tonight. The Aussies get a free kangaroo. <laughs> here we go. It's game on. Huge amount of time on the clock for Holland. They got plenty of time up their sleeve. Let's see what they can do on offense. 40 opens it up with a beautiful noob nade kill. Unfortunately, the body got shut up to where his teammates were pushing high. And he got a beautiful revive. Revive 40 with another rifle kill in there. Aussies picking them off here, Flash. It's pretty hard for the Dutch to push in. Absolutely. Aussies doing a great job holding off that first push, which is often a dangerous one. Uh, just really making that, the Netherlands work hard for it and getting lots and lots of kills. All of the kills bar two so far have gone to Australia. As Perfo pushes in now with his noob nade, he's just outside that little rock downstairs as is Efax who's pushing in. No name and Iceman34 camping it up down there. No name taken out but not gibbed. Iceman34 comes over, gets a revive on himself and Shaggy. Revive himself is very impressive and a huge slash kill. All six uh, Australian players slash killing there, leaving the bottom completely open. So it'll be interesting to see if Australia can reclaim this or not without too much hassle, Egypt. Well, there's no engineer down here for uh, the Bin Laden team at the moment. Uh, that is the uh, Holland Superstars. The Minnow Nation of ET as, they like, as they're known down here in Australia. Up against the powerhouse that is Australian ET. It's on display here tonight. They're going up for the flag, it looks like, I think. Uh, here they go, pushing the flag. Got a spawn, though. Oh, absolute carnage of the flag. It's an absolute Huge shit storm. Point. Look at it. Who's come out on top? Oh, uh, ding, ding, ding. Most man goes down. No name. Uh, the Axis still have the flag at the moment, so the Allies don't have it, but I can hear a plant going down now, down the bottom. Efax is planted down the bottom and then slash killed for his efforts. Uh, allies have, in fact, the got the flag the Absolutely, and it looks like the Axis are going to spawn back now as the Allies dominate that uh, last attempt there. And they've got both plants down now with 12 minutes 33 left on the clock. 12 seconds left on that dino. EJ, just too strong there with the uh, the flags yeah. and all of that stuff. And just, yeah, there was that, was all, that was all all because of 40, uh, 40 slash killing like a fag to stop himself from being killed. That's all, that's, that's what cost Australia then, dude. Well, all 40. that always what cost Australia. <laughs> Here they go. The truck is through the main gate now and it's pushing its way up the road pretty easily. Modus is up here at the crossroad just scouting it out with his teammates. They're pushing through as well. Now they're going to go and push on the uh, CP. Pez, uh, Pedro, that's not his name, Perfo. He gets a uh, noob nade off, doesn't get anyone. Shaggy comes through and cleans him up. He gets a quick revive though from Modus. Truck's halfway up now to the top of the hill. Modus with some very accurate shooting, getting the body shots off onto a player. No headshots, so that's what he needs. Rico's dead on the ground in front of him. we got 11 minutes and 40 seconds here in this second half of this stopwatch round. You're listening to GameStar Radio's EJ and Flash bringing you the Nation's Cup. Live from America. Well, we're not from America. We're in Australia, in Melbourne and Brisbane to be precise, but the server's in well, America. Well, the service, server's in America. That's right. There is a plant down, in fact, on the main gate, which has 20 seconds to go on it. Uh, Efax, or somebody had a, a noob nade shooting somewhere, uh, I think it was Perfo down the bottom, shooting at the Axis, and uh, it looks like they're all dead, EJ. It's not oh really yeah, Australia they're dead. The they are all down, CP going up now at the moment, Efax tweaking that. He's done so many nipple piercings in his day, he could uh, easily build that CP. He, he's pretty good with a pair of pliers in his hand. Let's see if he can get a side plant down now, Perfo looks like he's going to go trick jump. He's done it too, and oh. he's screwed up at the last second. Oh no, he, he was found. trying to plant down. Oh. He's They're through the main gate anyway, they could... Yeah, I know that. But we'll make it look like he's found it, goosed it up, because no one's really watching him, it's all good. Here they go though, they can get the truck through the main gate, and uh, get it into position. Oh, 
over boost with the Panther. He might have did a shit shot in the first round. Does a great shot here in the second round. He slash kills himself. Truck almost into position. 40 just nades famine at the back of it now. 10 minutes and 23 seconds. This is a long time still to hold. The uh, west wall is about to blow. Truck's about to get moving again. They are now in the east wall. East wall has blown here, Flash. Main gate's flown. Truck's in the gate. Well, the allies have gotten all of the objectives done. Bar the west gate and the... Uh, what do you call that thing out the back that you've got to build? Stop them getting up the back exit. Oh, I've forgotten. Doesn't matter, they have, haven't got that built, but uh, I don't think they're going to need it the way they're playing at the moment, as they're pushing in every which way. 40 taken down beautifully by New, uh, who pushes up now. He's joined by Modus, who is taking, take out, takes out haste, which is uh, no no small effort on itself. But nice Modus aggressive New giving by New. Up. Absolutely. Great stuff there by the allied team. They're just holding up everyone everywhere at the moment uh, just domination at the moment you'd have to say by the netherlands oh global domination here, here we can go modus uh, carving it up he's got the knife out haste is cut down at the top of the stairs here rico comes up and backs him up and drops him beautiful work 40's in at the controls he's there as the last line of defense he's a noob nader pretty handy with the noob nader is the old 40 let's see what he can do depot's uh, fence is planted now there you go, that's what it's called, the depot fence, thank you. Oh Sorry. yeah, truck is in position. We got three Aussies up, four Aussies up. Go, go Australia, here they are at the top now. Grenade goes off at the top of the stairs, doesn't manage to take anyone out. Yeah, goes a new, that stands for Flash Rules. Take away Flash. <laughs> Absolutely, that, that was from a while back though, but uh, Perfo getting the smiley faces out, Overboost getting the lols out, so good friendly competition, you gotta love that, as the Australians Really it's because they're all stone, dude. <laughs> Two of them up the top here. Three of them now. Haste comes up to join him. And that uh, depot wall will have blown now, I believe, as the Axis now have that as an extra option. And indeed, Chris comes up, and he's got his knife out, and Haste doesn't want to play that game. But Efax now, an engineer coming up to build. 40 versus Efax, the engineer wall. Uh, go and forward. 40 takes him out. Only to be taken out by Overboost, who looks like he's a panzer of some description, as there are three <laughs> allies up the top now. Just not looking good for Australia, EJ. No, it's not at all at the moment. Modus is up here blocking the top. Haste is trying to get up as a med here to back his teammates up. Seven minutes and 57 seconds is left on the match here. We're in the opening round of the Nations Cup, Australia versus Holland. This is an absolute crackerjack match so far. Holland dominating with some very strong powerhouse play, but Australia 40 in haste have re-secured the upper base area, they prevented the construction, and hey, you never know, they could hold this for the next seven and a half minutes, and um, could go 2 nil up, and move on to Bremen. No, who are we going to do? Brandorf. Brandorf is the next map, hopefully, and uh, yes, we need, uh, for those who don't know, the points system in this Nations Cup, four points to win the game, uh, as in the whole competition between these two teams. Uh, two points per win per map, and if it's a draw, a full hold, that is, then it is one point each. As New makes his way up top unhindered, as Perfo comes in now, he's an engineer. Getting a build, Modus guards the window, Efax and Perfo, joint combination, nipple pierce. They got it up. As they get the, the, uh, the plant, sorry, the build, I should say, quite easily against the allied uh, Axis team. EJ, take it away before I spit out my own tongue. Yeah, big dose of Viagra there to the boys from Holland. They got it up and the construction's going. <clears throat> Putting that gold crate in the back of the ute. And they've got to get that ute out the front door with the slab in the back. And get themselves a good old party time up near the CP. Perfos with the uh, Panzer gets no one. He cops a face full of lead for his trouble. 40's down. Gets a nice revive. Thanks to Haste there. Quick revive. Haste is uh, very speedy. Hence the name. He loves that. He loves to be known as Speedy. His girlfriend loves it when he's Speedy as well, though. Although she's never satisfied. Rico with a double MP40 and also a pistol kill there. Beautiful work. Perfos uh, come down through the uh, spawn, though. He said, oh, a spawn camp with the Panzer. What a bastard. Here he goes. Let's see what he can get. He's going to get... Oh, no one! Perfo! Crap shot. Take it away, Flash. Well, I'm just watching new GG it up as he drives the truck to that party where there's lots of hash cookies and hookers as they push their way Ooh, through it's yeah. going to be a cap now uh, with 5 minutes 50 still left on the clock and uh, the allies successfully beat the clock and all of the awards as one would expect from a little bit of a domination by the Netherlands team 
go to them indeed. Modus taking out Fragger, experience points, ranking officer, decorated, battle sense, medic, light weapons, Efax taking out engineer, Perfo taking out accuracy, and Chris has no friends. None whatsoever, though he can buy them in the red light district apparently there, uh, Flash. I, I haven't been, but that's what I'm uh, been told that the situation is, as we're now moving on to Brondoff B4, not after, as uh, the... I'm not sure exactly how this uh, works in terms of who stays on what team. Uh, at the moment we've got uh, the Netherlands on Allies and Australia on Axis, and they need to take this win back now, or actually no, it could be a full hold, and then go to the next map. Uh, but at the moment, not looking too good for Australia, uh, as the uh, the Euros play Brondorf quite a bit more than the Australians do and have. So ah, do they? It's a, it's, it was a very popular map in the uh, Premier ET ladder on the planet, the GA ladder, during Season 9 last season. It got played a fair bit. But if the Euros yeah, well, play it more, ooh, we could be in for a shellacking. Yeah, well, they, they uh, started playing it quite a bit before us, as tends to be the case with most of our trends. We have a... Shout out to Nam Jin Gajas. Yeah, I can't talk Dutch, so I failed at that. Sorry to you, Modus, uh, for that. As fight is about to go the call on Brondorf. Shout DJ out to all the fight. bong lovers. That's what he was saying. Here we go. The Aussies are on defense. Holland on offense. Overboost coming through the box room now. He's pushed hard down past the uh, ammo racks. Oh, he cops a grenade in the nuts for his trouble. And that was 40 blowing his testicles off. Beautiful work there by 40. And what else we got? Efax here, he's pushing down the... Oh, <laughs> he does! He truly does! They're going to push on the flag though, it's a big flag defense here, we got two players Shaggy and another defending the flag, they've done a great job and they've stopped these boys from holding. Efax comes straight at Shaggy, Shaggy drops him, can't get the gib in though, no names here, he's down to a pistol, he's a field off, should think he give himself some ammo. Chris spots him though and Chris nails him, absolutely nails him, crucifies him to the wall there with a spray of bullets. Here we go again though, they've got another spawn away, 40's away protecting the door, he's got the noob nade out, checks up to the uh, Whitehall box room exit area, one's up on the catwalk, it is Chris, bam with the noob nade, and he misses, Hayso drops in with an MP40, that was actually overboost. What are you looking at at the moment here, you can hear the ammo packs being dropped behind him, 40's are going to get knifed in the back here it looks like. Oh, he kills a teammate, tragedy, absolute tragedy, takes out no name, then gets shot himself, oh flash, this could be the break Holland are looking for. Uh, yeah now so good stuff there by them I was watching Rico at the side taking the helmets off the Netherlands players but then in fact he got taken out himself just before the spawn so not too bad for him as Efax pushes into a room with four allies and having their packs out so not so great for him but it seems to have uh, distracted the Axis enough allies have got the flag lost the flag yeah. completely secured it EJ have they got a uh, covert or anything I didn't see any uh, pants stealing no. Dutch boys no there Oh, they've got a Kobe now, but I haven't seen him get anything. Nah, All right, they'll be taking around. the clogs off if they want to sneak in here. They don't want any loud thumping as they're coming through. Plants gone down on the main gate. 13 minutes in, uh, exactly. 30 minutes exactly on the clock here. And it is Australia versus Holland here in the Nations Cup. You're listening to EJ and Flash on GameStar Radio. Australia, if not the world's premier shoutcasting network. And 40 comes in as... Overboost and new sitting out the back there, and uh, they were trying to get a boost on, but they failed miserably. <laughs> and so 40 just jumped down, killed the engineer that was trying to plant, while those two jumped on top of each other and had a good old time. But now, Overboost dressed as 40 is pushing in around the back way. Uh, he's a covert ops, and he can take out that CP. He goes Iceman with a big Panzer kill, manages only to get one. Ah, oh, bad luck, Iceman 34. He was set up high perch there to get a huge amount of kills and he only managed to get one who's that though Rico picks up a double before slash killing to join his teammates and uh, the Kapama, uh, command post has gone so we've got players falling back here flash to protect this back entrance yeah 40 failed he went out there and he got shot in the side of the head as he tried to climb a ladder uh, underestimating overboost speed uh, overboost now sitting over that back door at the back e pushing in the main the entrance up. here they're pushing in low on the controls Chris they're is cut down everywhere. though there's three or four of them out the back. Efax is going to get that satchel out in one moment unless he's opening the door, which he has. He's opened the door. Efax and New are out the back now. 40 coming out with his noob nade to try and shoot at something. He doesn't shoot at anyone. He just shoots it into the wall and gets here they no go. damage given at all. I'm following Overboost. He's pushed in with his teammates here at the back. He's going to go through and satchel from the inside. 
Oh, that's devastating to the Aussies. They got a satchel from the inside. Here we go, though. He's pushing through to the controls. He's got Chris with him. Chris is a medic. Lovely long-range sniper shooting here. Doesn't manage to take anyone out. Shaggy too strong for him there with the Thompson. We've got a respawn, though, from the uh, boys from Holland. Here they go now. Two pushing in the back. One of them is an engineer. He's followed by a medic in overboost. So this could be it for the Aussies. Uh, flash, if they can't pull something out. Rico's come from behind. He's cut down, though, by overboost. No name Shaggy and Haste have done a great job so far protecting these parts. They've pretty much been alone. And no name oh, Shaggy news come in and cleaned out. up. Iceman 34, pistol fight. New gets out the knife. Iceman 34 didn't have time to react. Shot him in the face. Oh, uh, sorry, Motor shot him in the back of the head, in fact. As the allies push through and clean up the room. E Plant going down. 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 It's uh, all over uh, by the looks of things, unless they can get a defuse for the Australians on this map at the moment. As oh, the there was Shaggy. Shaggy just got ripped apart stuff. like a Christmas turkey. As did 40 as he pushed in from the bow, low, low area as an engineer. Uh, the sole remaining engineer and probably the last hope of the Australian team. As there are now 10 seconds left on the clock and no axis in sight. It looks like it's going to go... Well, it's going to be a very short time for the Australians to try and beat. Yeah, Efax already breaking out the GG. There goes the controls. BAM! Created to his death was 40. What a beautiful way to go at the end of the round. And 5.01 left on the clock. So uh, another great round to the Netherlands team who pick up... Most of the awards. Most of the awards except for 40 who got engineer. Which he'd be very happy about. And he'll be oh, he's, about the he's waving that Aussie flag high in his bedroom at the moment at home would be 40, Bob. Uh, <laughs> Bob Flash. Bob! Oh, well, I'm honoured to be called Bob. Uh, thanks, EJ. For those of you who don't know, EJ and Bob are one of Australia's finest shoutcasting duos. They uh, love to get it on and get freaky with it, and sometimes they like to shoutcast as well. But uh, thanks for that, EJ. No problemo. Just waiting on four players to ready up now as the uh, Netherlands defending a time of 5.01 here on Brondorf B4. And. Uh, we're waiting on Iceman34 and Rico to ready up. I'm actually just going to do a quick war room uh, across to the Australian Ooh. team while we have a chance. So um, bear with me, EJ. As Although I'm we probably do shouldn't do that while they're stratting. That's a bit rude to them. Oh, that's a good point. Well, I'll do it as soon as the round starts. How's that? Yo. It's like now. There you go. Like now. Here I go. Gave me ear cancer. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Here we, that's all right. Here we go. The Allies have uh, managed to secure the flag. Four minutes, and eleven seconds left on the ground. That a covert. They might be able to sneak through here and get a bit of a ninja plan in and go to all here in the nation's cup. NXM is a uh, master super near. What is he? A super engineer? Systems engineer? Whatever you want to call him. He loves any title you give him. NXM, master nation's cup. <laughs> Plants okay, down. And the d plant goes down indeed. 27 seconds Dynamite left on that planted. at 347. The side door has been built and the side gate has also been planted. 40 and Shaggy going for the boost. Perflo jumps down. He's going to get a defuse if they're not too careful. And he tempts that, but 40 is wise to it as he's trying to boost up. And he's sitting in that boosted position, shooting it over boost through the window. So nice props to uh, 40 there for that. As EJ, are you watching the main gate? Uh, I certainly am. Through the ice of Rico. Main gate's gone. Bam! There is artillery on the other side though, so the boys from Holland setting up a beautiful little defense here at the main gate. Anyone who tries to push through here is going to get absolutely caned as Rico just found out as he ran into news grenade. Let's see what they were. Uh, Overboost gets another kill. 40 gets a kill as well. That was with the beautiful Grande shot there, EFX. They've got to push through up high here now through the broken building. Rico's gone out in front. He's going to try and get the guy running away like a uh, little fleet and coward to set back up inside. 
Steve CP's Bats. out. Steve takes out Iceman 34. Who's got the CP out? Which team? We, uh, we do. The allies, Ooh, the Australia. Australia team. Got the CP up. The side gate is yet to be blown as new camping it up in the control room. He's got plenty of ammo there with him. Rico slash kills. Uh, looks like that main push is down or halted as the side gate gets taken out now. Perfo, beautiful oh, landmine, a uh, rifle grenade shot into Iceman 34 as a, as a main gate push as well. EJ. Yeah, I'm uh, with Chris at the moment. He's defending out the objective. Uh, Rico's coming in on him one-on-one. -on -one. Rico just slash kills out. He doesn't want to get uh, caned by him. And um, shout out to Virus, who's having a listen tonight to the shout card. Join us in Hash Game Star on Oz IRC for this and the next game. Forty's throwing the dino. This could be exciting. The plan's down. Plan is down. Oh. Two minutes and six seconds still on the clock. Oh, if Australia can do this, it's going to go to two all. This is going to be huge for the Aussies. Absolutely. Purpo versus three Australians. And Purpo has the edge at the moment because they're spamming. And his backup comes in now. News in there. News got no health. He's taken out. Not gibbed by that grenade. As Shaggy pushes in, oh, gets loaded up by his own teammate. Right, oh, by Forty it. double kill. Forty still there. Oh, he gets an oh. kill. Purple on fire. Oh, one second. Oh, they got the A minute thirty-six left. Absolute clutch play there by the uh, Purple, and now he picks up a double rifle grenade kill. EJ, huge. Ah, oh, huge there. Big burst of static as we just pop our nuts into the uh, microphone. And, uh, oh, Rico will get booted for, um, <laughs> uh, naughty comments pretty soon. That was, a, that was a great bit of play there. Australia is still in this, by the way. We've got a minute and ten seconds on 40. Still up. He can get another plant down. He's going in for the plant right now. Go, 40. Here comes a double plant going down. Iceman 34 is the one left to arm it. 58 seconds one. on the clock. They still got it. The second one, 26 seconds left. Perfo, that P engineer, is down and gibbed this time. The allies managed to give him. New is a remaining engineer. He's up and not gibbed. As he comes in, gets killed by Rico's grenade. Not gibbed. They just can't give that engineer, that sole remaining engineer. Defusing, and defusing. The okay, got the defuse. 36 seconds left on the clock. Unless they get a. Oh, not very happy there by the Australians, apparently. Bad luck to them as 30 seconds click push over. Rico, the world play goes up. And it's going to be a four zip victory to the Netherlands. Uh, very, very stiff there for the Australian team. Less than a second left on the clock when Perfo got that last defuse after four or five uh, what a cracker. from 40. Huge game there. Huge, beautiful stuff by the Australians. Great stuff by the Netherlands as everyone pushes in and does whatever it is that they possibly can. Uh, oh, to get look. Flash, that's got, to, that's got to be the upset of the millennium. The minnows, the absolute minnows of enemy territory on the planet, Holland, have just upset the powerhouse Australia. I'm devastated. How are you feeling yourself? That's just the biggest upset in the history of ET. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd go that far. Oh, yeah, have to. Back our boys. Go, Australia! Now, they'll be backing it up at midnight tonight in their second match, I think. Have they got another match coming up? They do indeed. Uh, they've got a match versus Norway. Forget Norway. Uh, yeah, they've got a match oh. versus Norway. If Holland are Which... a minnow, Norway are not even amoeba. A small nation of ET. Alrighty, well, that's uh, pretty much it for Flash and EJ uh, from the Nations Cup. Holland, too good there for Australia, taking it out 2-0, a well-deserved win. They were absolutely the better team on the night. The Australians really couldn't put up much of a show. They tried hard on Brandorf, but the uh, boys from Holland, the tulip-loving boys, were just too, too good here tonight in the Nations Cup. You've been listening to GameStar Radio's EJ and Flash, and stay tuned, because at midnight tonight, our time, local Australian time, there will be another match, Australia vs Norway, here on GameStar Radio. Maybe, if Rogue's up to it. Uh, well, Rogue, myself, or BSR probably will be casting that next match, EJ, but uh, for now we're going to take oh, yeah. this cast down. And uh, thank you, EJ, for joining me. Thank you, BSR, for your special comments, and shout out to the Netherlands team for taking home a cracker of a game. And, uh, yeah, jump on GameStar.com to uh, tune in for all the details. And the Shout out to Virus. Well. Shout out to Virus as well. Thank you, Virus, and thank you, EJ. Thank you, BSR.